I praise and thank God for this beautiful time that God has given us to come in His presence. For our meditation today, let's turn to Proverbs chapter 8, verse 32 to 36. Now therefore hearken unto me, O ye children, for blessed are they that keep my ways. Hear instruction, and be wise, and refuse it not. Blessed is the man that heareth me, watching daily at my gates, waiting at the posts of my doors. For whoso findeth me findeth life, and shall obtain favor of the Lord. But he that sinneth against me wrongeth his own soul, for they that uh, all they that hate me love death. When we look at an individual, whether he be a believer in Christ or a or someone who does not know Christ, both have a desire for blessings in their life. A worldly person desires for the things of the world, while a child of God, he desires blessings from the Lord. When a person who is saved starts his new life, he does not know much about the ways of the Lord. And so, he may think that to be good in life, to be well in life, is a sign of God's blessings. If God answers our prayers, then we feel blessed. But if anything goes wrong beyond our expectations, then we feel discouraged and then thoughts creep into our mind thinking God has forsaken us. But when a person grows in faith and he begins to meditate upon the word of God, then he understands the real nature of God and his ways. Here the scripture clearly says, Blessed are they that keep the ways of wisdom of God. It warns us not to refuse the instruction of the Lord. We may think that the wisdom mentioned here is just the knowledge about God. But the scripture tells us that the wisdom of God is omniscient God himself. It clearly says, He that sinneth against me wrongeth his own soul. Man, sins against God and it is God who is going to punish him with eternal judgment, that is death. Here the scripture mentions, if a person ignores the wisdom of God and refuses to keep his ways, then it is sin that brings punishment of death. So let us not take the counsel of the wisdom of God lightly as it is the words of Almighty God himself. Let us hearken to the words of the Lord. Watch daily in the presence of the Lord then we will find life. That will give us the strength to walk in the ways of the Lord and thus we will obtain favor of the Lord. In the presence of the Lord, education of a person does no good. A person cannot understand the ways of the Lord using his corrupted wisdom. That is why Holy Spirit God is dwelling in each person who believes in Lord Jesus Christ as his Savior to lead him in the path of righteousness and truth and help him to be perfect like our Lord Jesus. We need to watch and be in the presence of the Lord so that we may attain the divine wisdom of the Lord. Our Lord looks at our earnestness to know his ways. If we really love the Lord, then we will have the mind to wait in his presence to know his ways. King Solomon received the wisdom of God, but the word of God says there is a need for him to wait and watch daily at the gates of the house of the Lord. That means he needs to hear from the Lord daily because as a human being, everyone is prone to temptations in this evil world. If they are not strong in their relationship with the Lord, they are bound to fall. The words of God corrects us, admonishes us so that we may correct our mistakes that is displeasing in the eyes of the Lord. The Lord is concerned more about our life as time before us in this world is very short and the life here will decide our eternity. Christian life is a life that we need to live daily, but very few people understand its importance. But for many people, the experience of Christian life is limited to Sundays and to some other special days. The more we wait for the Lord and His ways, the more we attain the life of God. Eternal life begins when we are united with the Lord, loving Him and obeying His commandments daily in our life. Let us not sin against God as it displeases the Lord the most. If we hate the Lord's wisdom, then we are embracing death. So let us be very much watchful in our daily life to watch and wait for the wisdom of the Lord. 
And may the Lord help each one of us for that. Let us pray. Father, we praise you and thank you for this beautiful time that you have given us to come in your presence and thank you for your word. Lord, help us to know you more. Thank you for your word that warns us to hear your instruction and be wise and refuse it not. Lord, help us always to seek your wisdom and lead a life that's pleasing unto you. Help us to give importance to our relationship with you. Rest everything is secondary, Lord. May your name be glorified. In Jesus' most holy name we pray. Amen. May God bless each one of us. Our Lord is coming very soon. Maranatha.